Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my let's play of Civilization 5 as the American Empire. Now the first thing that you may notice is I've changed the graphical settings again. I'm sort of using this as a test bed for uh, the Gods and Kings let's play. Uh, seeing if it does affect my performance all that much because a few people have um, said that the the solid block wall was rather annoying apparently. I, I must admit personally, it doesn't really bother me either way. Uh, it's what I can't see. Whether it's lovely clouds or just a black wall, it doesn't bother me too much. Uh, there's also, I believe, the leader screens I've changed and I think that's all. And hopefully you can hear it, the music. Now this is going to be a very short recording session because I did a stupid thing and I asked you, the ladies and gentlemen, a question in the last episode, which was the last episode of a recording session. So by the time I got to uh, record a game, because obviously I, I want to keep this going, <laughs> I, I don't have the answer yet, but that's fine. Hopefully, where was this guy going? You can either go here or that's not in range, but we'll scoot him forward one more. As long as he doesn't move, we're fine there. You need his orders. Oh, it's you. Well, do nothing now. That's all you can do. But yes, that's fine. Oh, Augustus Caesar has made peace with Lassar. Uh, Arabia has publicly denounced Rome. Well, let's go to the next turn, because if I remember rightly, these take a while. I am hoping someone's going to come and talk to us. We may... Oh, God, that's an invasion and a half on the way. I really do think gold and silver is a lot more overpowered compared to gems, though. Uh, I mean, to me, there should be more a difference between them. I mean, plus four happiness, plus two gold. Plus four happiness, plus three gold. Well, that's fine, yes, you get more for gems, but then when you have a mint, you actually get more for the gold. And it's not like the... You know, having the mint is really an optional thing. If you have any gold in there, it pays for itself, so you have it. I'm so glad that still said please waiting, but believe it or not, I'm getting a higher frame rate. I know that's not necessarily how the game's playing, it's how it's recording, but I'm getting a higher frame rate with their higher graphical settings, which is quite confusing, but it's more how long these turns take. I mean, I believe we may get to the point where we only play two turns in an entire episode. Oh, God. Now, I would love to try and do it where I pause between the turns and we come back. Um, I may do that, uh, but at the moment, with everything else I wanted to play as well, I wouldn't have time to put these up daily. So, maybe instead of closing, that these might become a, a non-daily addition to the Let's Plays. Uh, I say play it as much as I normally did hour wise but I, I really would still love to to do it I, I want to finish this game because I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose but I want to finish it okay yes and he's moved and we can get to the no we can't because yet another bottleneck we can move another space forward We've got one, two, three, one, two. We wouldn't get back, so no, we need to stay here and do nothing. Oh, and you're not telling me it's the next turn again. Actually, I want to talk to somebody, ask her. So this is the improvement on the screens. We actually do have them moving a bit. It's not we're near on the highest quality. I used to get 60 frames per second on this bit, which was what it was capped to as a maximum. Uh, now it's 10. Uh, obviously, me looking at it looks like fine, but I'm not too sure how it is for you guys. Uh, we would like to trade to something to try and keep you happy with us. A defensive pact. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think you would go for that one, but it was worth a try. Uh, there's nothing we can do. Discuss. Declaration of friendship. Salamin. And goodbye. No, that's... I'm not going to wait. Well, let's go to the next turn again. Wait, that went... Well, that happened rather quick, at least. 
Asuka has declared war on Wu. Uh, Elizabeth has declared war on Wu as well. So, was them troops not for me? Are they just going to come through my territory to go try and kill? Pichu Pichu declared war on Wu. All these people declared war on Wu and they didn't ask me? Oh, wait. Oh, it's been so long since I've played this. Did they ask me? I watched the last episode, but I don't remember that, but ten turns ago. Well, that could be ten episodes ago. I hope they did ask me. I hope I dived in on this. It's the Christ it gets me the Chinese. Why wouldn't I want to go to war with them? <laughs> it's quite funny because as I move the mouse around, if I move it around a lot, it drops to 19 frames per second, but otherwise it's saying a constant 20. Which I know isn't brilliant, but it does mean that the bottleneck really isn't at Fraps' end. Or at least I don't think so. <laughs> I really wish I would understand more of it. And the Incas and the Unmet have made a... <laughs> an, unmet, an Unmet player is not to be trusted. Public decoration from China. It is guaranteeing Budapest. Well, everyone has dogpowered on. Please say I joined in on this. Uh, please say there's not another agreement that's about to get me. I mean, this is Zadarius. Right round my border. How is he down here? He still has nobody down here, so I... Don't think he's actually going to war, but all them troops there, all these troops here. We can see a good few, or oh, two, in the Turkish, Arabian border, sorry, my apologies, as well. There's a lot happening this turn to say I can't still do anything. Oh, my guys have moved, so it's my turn again, and we can get to the fish. Oh, we've got to the fish, ladies and gentlemen. Um, work for fish. That is the title with a fish on. But it's not already got fishing boats there. They do. Fish with fishing boats. And you're just fish. If I come down here, this one just says, Oh, you are kidding me. We force our way up there and we've already bloody built the boats. I'll see if you can't get back down then we'll have to fight our way back down now. Well, we've dealt with all of these um, as they was coming up so that's fine. And we'll, oh, we, we've made defensive packs and they weren't. But people, I'm sure people asked us about declaring war on her. Surely one of them will come and talk to me in exchange to... Oh, they're just moving. I think, if anything, they're less on my border now than what they were. Should show me where all the movement is going on. As Suleiman and Napoleon have made peace. That is good. Peace in the world. All the iron that was near me and I haven't quite got it. All I got is this little two-piece. There's all them six packs over there. I really did pick the wrong settings for this game. Ah, well, looks like our workboat's going to be able to get down all the way back to where he was. So that's quicker than what it took for him to get there, at least. Don't know why I'm assuming the orders now. It's not really going to save much time because I'm going to have to click on him and tell him to do it anyway. Otherwise, he'd have to do it when I click next turn. Another Unmet player has lost its capital city, so... We're not doing too bad. There's two players already lost theirs, and we're in a reasonable state. Persia has denounced this Unmet player. I'm guessing it's the same one. I can't actually close these. That'd be rather useful. I'm paranoid with all these troops, but if they're actually in my border, they won't be attacking because they'd be get thrown out. But I guess there's so many places where they could be thrown out and they're still near my city, which they wouldn't be able to get from their actual borders. Oh, peace treaty expired. Between Caesar... 
Oh, right, with Augustus Caesar, that's fine. As long as it's not the one with Asuka. And we've spoken about all of them. Let's move this guy down. If we can get here, I think we'll be okay. We can fight through that. We'll go next turn. Uh, it is time for the war against... Let's get it started. Declare war. Ah, oh, it makes you nice and friendly with me. Venice declared war on me. It's not a problem. I don't even know where you are. Uh, deal for open borders has ended. Well, it's fine. We got money straight out of the bag for it. So, we've lost nothing. If we're at war with him, on his side, I mean, hopefully he won't want to kill us. And... Am I... Why? Okay, I don't quite know why that was uh, sliding over to the side of the screen, but I guess it was. <laughs> also, if you are watching this, I am curious. Uh, it's one thing I've... Uh, you know, a few people have said that my commentary may be a little bit flat. And these are on games where I think I'm doing... Okay with the commentary, because if things are happening, there's things for me to talk about. How is it on this game? Because there's not that much there. Uh, if I can make this even seem halfway tolerable, I think that's rather good. <laughs> uh, a Russia play, Russia has un another unmet player. We, we we know so little about the world. Really, really bad. I mean, we have all these gems, and we haven't been able to really trade them. When I saw them at the start, I, I really did think it was the mint would do for gold, silver, and gems. But I guess you don't mint gems. But there should be a similar building. It may, may have to be a different building, but there should probably have been a similar one for it. I mean, maybe even one for ivory similar. It's something that you do have to pay a gold per turn product. But as long as there's maybe two of them in that city radius, it'll pay off. A good way of balancing the resources out. Moving some of your troops about, are you there? Look at all these troops. I don't even know, really know where China is, but all these have declared war and they're coming this way. I'm pretty sure China is up here. It, there. But maybe not. Measure what is measurable, and make measurable what is not so. That sounds like a good policy, and uh, we... Have to go through the diplomacy, because we've got a lot of deals that have ended. Fair enough, the one with Wu we expected, but open borders with Elizabeth. We would like to get that back, so let's talk to Lizzie. Hello. Who actually has a worse score than Oz. Go ahead. Uh, I'd like to give you open borders, and I would like all of your money, please. <laughs> Looks good to you. Uh, let's see. There's nothing else I want from you. That's fine. Goodbye. Certainly. Certainly. Oh, you are rather friendly. That's... I... I'm touched. In the head, but still it's all nice. And let's see open borders with uh, the Arabians. See, and here's the Arabians despite being Arabian. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum to you. I got that really wrong. Hello, my friend. A trade. Mother, kunta taqul. Um, I would like to give you my open borders in exchange for all of your gold. But that is also, you make fifty gold per turn, but you only have fifty gold. What have you just bought? That's Mom. fine. But we'll go to another trade and have a look. See if there's anything. Mother, kunta packs. Would you go for that? We'll go for that because you're our neighbour as well. Hopefully, this will also stop the other guy from declaring war on us. Hasan. Now, that was the end of this episode. I'm probably only going to do half the normal recording fish on this, so maybe another three episodes. Uh, but please let us know how you think it's going, and I, I, I actually feel really bad almost begging for um, interactions, because you, you, as an audience, I can't believe how much you do comment and stuff. I, I do love it. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, and goodbye.